another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious date night dinner. This recipe right here is so easy. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty, hands down. Y'all never had my date night dinner before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're going to need. The first thing that you would need was some nice steak. So I have some beautiful ribeye steaks here that we're going to season up and get a nice char onto them. And also we're going to be making up some salmon. This when you make seafood and um, steak together, it's called surf and turf. For dessert, we're going to be making some chocolate covered strawberries and all you're really going to need for that is some chocolate chips and also a little bit of vegetable oil okay so now we are going to make some smashed potatoes so i have some potatoes that i have washed and cut they're sitting in cold water can't have a steak here at the young's house without some good old mushrooms and onions and our vegetable is going to be um cheesy cauliflower and broccoli you're going to need some cheese and i'm going to be using a craft singles cheese you will need some butter and a couple of spices so we can make everything taste delicious. So right here we have garlic powder. You will need Old Bay seasoning, black pepper salt. You're gonna need some A1 sauce. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really easy recipe, Gina Young style. So the first thing that I have here is I have a nice pan of cold water. We're gonna start on some potatoes, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm really just going, I'm gonna bring these up to a boil and I do want to salt the water. Anytime you're making rice, potatoes, or noodles, you salt it so it, gets, so it has some nice flavor. So look, if we move over here to this pan in front of me, I'm going to then put our cauliflower and our broccoli mixture and it's nice and fresh. This was not frozen with a little bit of water and we're gonna steam this until it gets fully cooked. We don't wanna cook the daylights out of it. You don't want it to be mushy, okay? Once it gets cooked to the potential that I'm looking for, I'm gonna show you all how to make an amazing cheese sauce for this. So now that we have the two things cooking, that would take uh, potentially the longest, which is our potatoes and our cheese and cauliflower broccoli. All right, so now what I wanna do is let's go ahead and get our ribeyes nice and seasoned and also our salmon. All right, so we're gonna go in with some salt just like so. I hope that you all are having a great day today. Let me know in the, in the comment section below, have you all ever had surf and turf, which is, like I said earlier, seafood and steak. The combination together is like a match made in heaven. I'm just gonna season um, the top side. A lot of times you'll see me season the bottom, but today I just feel like seasoning the top. We're gonna go in with some good old Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay seasoning is very delicious with any seafood. We're gonna use a nice amount of garlic powder just like so, and then I want this to set for at least 12 minutes and let those spices really seep down into this beautiful fish that we have here. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll bring uh, the steak into the equation and do the same thing. Since the steak is very, very thin, we only really need to season one side, okay? So let's get it nice and seasoned. If the steak was really thick, then that's when you'll see me go in and season both sides. We're gonna go in once again with some black pepper. It's date night here at the Young's house and I couldn't be more excited to show you all what type of meal I make for our date nights. All right, so black pepper once again, and even the Old Bay seasoning. Absolutely great flavor there. All right, Old Bay seasoning is not just for seafood. We're gonna go in with some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and also the parsley flakes just to make it nice and beautiful. Pretty simple, right? And we're gonna let this set for about 12 minutes as well. Okay, going in with the parsley flakes just because it makes it nice and beautiful. Let's let it set for a minute, come up to room temperature. You never wanna cook any of your meats when they're freezing cold because they'll cook up dry. You let them come up to room temperature, it's always gonna cook up nice and juicy. I am so excited to show you all how easy it is to make a delicious date night dinner. This is not just any date night dinner, like we're kind of going above and beyond, and you can do it too. I wanna to show you in this video today how easy it is. So now, 
what we want to do, you want to make sure that your uh, mushrooms are nice and washed off and let's chop them up a little bit. I know there's a lot of people out there that think that mushrooms look kind of scary. If you mm -hmm. are that person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. But I tell you one thing, they taste so good. I can't have a steak without them. So I like to chop them up just like so. Sometimes you'll see me slice them, you know. All right, just like this. And I feel like that's enough. So let's just set that aside. And the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna start on some onions. Just gonna slice up some onions really quickly so that I don't have to go off crying. I hate, I hate to slice these onions. Lord, please, not today. I don't wanna cry over the onions. So let's get some slices just like so in this manner. And we're gonna saute the onions and the mushrooms together. Okay, and I'll tell you the perfect time to put these beautiful onions and mushrooms in your pan as you're frying your steak up. Be right back. So now if you take a look in my pan, you will see that I have a little bit of vegetable oil and I have one tablespoon of sweet cream butter and we waited till the butter got hot and frothy. Now we're gonna lay our salmon in nice and gently. I'm cooking this on a medium heat and we're looking for a gorgeous, like almost as if it was charred. We want those spices to get nice and charred. It's gonna give you great flavor there. And once I start to see, um, you'll start to see the color change on the side. So if you're looking at the salmon from the side, I will show you where the color starts to get lighter. That is when we turn it over to cook the other side. I'll show you when I come back. Now it's time to make our dessert. Got some strawberries that we've washed off. Me and my husband like to um, feed each other chocolate strawberries and here's how it goes. So we're gonna take some chocolate morsels, okay? And then what I like to do next is I like to go in with Crisco or vegetable oil, put a little bit in there and it gets it nice and shiny. We're gonna nuke this in a microwave for just about maybe 60 seconds. And if at 60 seconds you turn around and you, you know, take a spoon and you mix it, it's not really um, melt it down, just throw it in for another 10 seconds. It'll be melted and when, when it gets melted, I'm gonna show you how to cover your strawberries and chocolate. Now, if you take a look at the salmon, you can see that light part beginning to come up to the middle. When I see that, that's my indication. Go ahead and give that baby a nice flip over, okay? So, come on, work, work with me, work with me. There you go, no stressing out in the kitchen. Beautiful color that we have there. And now we're waiting on the rest of that light color to come up to the middle and your salmon will be cooked to perfection. Honestly, take a look at just how easily and quick this recipe is coming in together. Look at this. So we have dipped our strawberries, okay? And now we're just gonna place it, okay? And what I like to do is I like to give them a nice dip. I let the chocolate cool down, I would guess, for maybe a good five minutes, okay? Now we're just gonna set it here, and then what I like to do, once I have the desired amount nice and dipped, I put it in the refrigerator so that chocolate can kinda, you know, turn into a hard shell on top of our strawberries. You can't have a date night, at least here at the Young's house, without chocolate-covered strawberries. Look at that, pretty simple. You can make them too. All right, let's get these babies into the refrigerator, and when I come back, we're gonna get our steaks cooking, our onions and our mushrooms. You take a look at the broccoli, you will literally see that it's not mushy. That's what we're looking for. You don't ever want to make mushy broccoli and cauliflower. Let it still have some nice texture. I always like to use this creamy American singles cheese because it, it is the creamiest. I, I like to use this um, over shredded cheese. It, it makes a better sauce. We're going to put a little bit of butter in there as well and cover it until it melts. So let me show you our creamy vegetable melody. All right, so now we have that. We've got some oil in our pan. Put a little bit of butter in there if you want. Season side down. If you don't hear that sizzle, don't put no more in. Wait till your pan gets some nice and hot. Let's get these babies nice and charred and well done today. I'll tell you the perfect time to put your mushrooms and onions in. So now we're gonna cook our steaks on one side, get them halfway cooked on the other side. Then we'll throw our onions and our mushrooms in the same pan with like a tad of butter, okay, to get them nice and caramelized. So now, our potatoes are done. Take a look, we have drained them. I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter. You can pull back a little bit on the butter if you like, you know. 
I'm gonna put some parsley to make it nice and beautiful. All right, it is dried parsley. Gotta go in with some salt, not too much. Your loved ones can put their own salt in. Garlic powder, if you wanted to, you could smash a piece of garlic and boil it with the potatoes if you wanted to. Some black pepper. And then here's what happens next. Just mash it. You can use milk if you want. I'm just gonna do like a rough mash. I'm not aiming to mash every potato, okay? Just a little bit. Mix that butter in and guess what? Potatoes are served. They're buttery and they have so much flavor because we decided to put that garlic powder in there. Look at this. Oh yeah. Take a look at our steaks. Beautiful steaks. And they got a little bit of fat on them. I need that fat. I got this one here because it's still cooking. But I want you all to cook your mushrooms and onions until they get that golden brown gorgeous color. The darker that they get, the better they taste. Remember that. So if I've achieved the, achieved the color on the mushrooms and onions, now I go in with some A1 sauce. This right here really sends your steak up a notch. And you just cook it for about two, three minutes, just like so. Pour this on top of the steak. Let me know what your loved one thinks once you try this. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style. Date night dinner, make you some. We have ribeye steak covered in smothered mushrooms and onions. We have beautiful pan seared salmon, mashed potatoes, and we have cheese covered broccoli and cauliflower, chocolate covered strawberries. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts to make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this beautiful meal once again. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Now, what I like to do is we like to eat off of the same plate when we have a date night. So take a look. I'm going to take just a little bite because this is for us to enjoy. What I want to do, I want to flake. I want to flake the salmon here so you all can see. Look how flaky and just how beautiful and gorgeous that is. Go ahead and take a bite. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you a little bit of potatoes to bite with it. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.